Hi folks, today I'm diving into one of the most intriguing chapters in the book of Revelation, chapter 11. This chapter is packed with prophecy, power, and some truly awe-inspiring visions. So let's break it down. The chapter kicks off with John being given a measuring stick and told to measure the temple of God. But wait, he's instructed to leave out the outer court because it's been handed over to the nations. They'll trample the holy city for 42 months. That's three and a half years, folks. Now, we get to the two witnesses. These aren't just any prophets. They're described as two olive trees and two candlesticks standing before God. They're going to prophesy for 1,260 days, dressed in sackcloth. That's also three and a half years. These witnesses have some serious power. Fire shoots from their mouths to devour their enemies. They can shut the sky to prevent rain, turn water into blood, and unleash plagues as often as they wish. Talk about divine authority. But it's not all smooth sailing. After their testimony, a beast from the bottomless pit declares war on them, conquers and kills them. Their bodies lie in the streets of Jerusalem for three and a half days, while people from all nations gaze at them and celebrate their deaths. It's a grim scene, but it doesn't end there. After three and a half days, the spirit of life from God enters them, and they stand up. Can you imagine the shock? Great fear falls on everyone watching. Then a loud voice from heaven calls them to come up, and they ascend to heaven in a cloud, with their enemies looking on. Incredible stuff, right? Then, things get even more intense. A massive earthquake hits, devastating a tenth of the city and killing 7,000 people. In their terror, the survivors give glory to the God of heaven. This marks the end of the second woe, but the third woe is on its way. The seventh angel blows his trumpet, and loud voices from heaven proclaim that the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ, who will reign forever. The 24 elders fall on their faces and worship God. They thank him for assuming his great power and beginning his reign. It's time to judge the dead, reward God's servants, and destroy those who have corrupted the earth. Finally, the temple of God in heaven is opened, revealing the Ark of His Covenant. Lightning flashes, thunder roars, a great hailstorm hits, and another mighty earthquake shakes the world. What a dramatic conclusion to the chapter. Revelation 11 is a powerful reminder of God's ultimate authority and the unfolding of His divine plan. It's a chapter filled with warnings, judgments, and ultimately, hope for those who remain faithful. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the book of Revelation. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, stay blessed.